In order to qualify for an ERC tax refund, you'll need to gather some paperwork that we can use to help you determine whether or not you're eligible. And because these documents also play an important role in determining how much you qualify for, you don't want to miss this video. We'll be going over everything we'll need to get you your refund check. Now, most of the documents we're about to cover won't be needed for your initial pre-qualification. However, having it on hand and referencing it while completing our intake form can help make our initial estimate more accurate and save all of us time later on when we do need these documents. So I figured it might be helpful for you to know upfront what we'll be asking for. These documents are what's going to be needed, so please try and gather them. Number one, your quarterly payroll tax returns. Number two, payroll reports for 2019 all the way through 2021 for each employee detailing gross wages, paid by dates, employee names need to be on there, and address, job location, start date, end dates. The more information that's on your payroll reports, the more accurate we can be. And we have found that most payroll reports do have this information on them. Another thing you need to gather is a summary of your gross receipts for each quarter. Now again, if you don't plan on qualifying for the ERC program due to reduced revenue, you don't necessarily need to go gather sales receipts. Also, make sure that government shutdowns or suspensions actually happened in states where your business operates and where you have employees, more importantly. We'll go over that in more detail. You should gather your PPP loan documentation, such as forgiveness requests, if you were granted forgiveness, what was the loan amount that you took, what date was it issued, did you have more than one PPP loan? We're going to eventually need detailed information on your PPP loan if your company took one. In addition, you'll need to supply some information related to your business's legal name, the business's legal address, we're gonna need the business signer's name, someone authorized to sign for the business, normally the owner, but there are others. And finally, we're going to need your IRS forms 941 for every quarter that you are intending to qualify for. Now, there you have it. I know it sounds like a lot. Just remember, you can get started without any of this. If you're not sure where to go to find these documents, we also can help you after the initial consultation. So go ahead, check us out online or give us a call today.